Hello, good morning. In this video, we will discuss how we can implement JWT authentication in our SP.NET Web API application. So here I have prepared like four steps. So basically we can do the JWT with authentication in SP.NET Web API in simple four steps. First, we will install a NuGet package system.identitymodel.tokens.jwt. This NuGet packet provides us the classes and method to create the JWT token, sign it and validate it. So on the second step we will use that particular NuGet package libraries classes and methods to create the JWT token. On the third request we will handle the authenticate request event in our global.asax.cs file and here we will validate we will get the token from the http request from the like uh, http header authorization header and then validate that particular token with the libraries provided by the nuget package system.antimodel.tokens.jwt and after that we will prepare a principal object basically a claim principal object that we will set for the http context current.user so this will set the user for that particular request and finally on our controllers we will apply the authorized attribute so that those actions method and control can only be accessed by the authorized users so let's get started so first let's create a project so here in visual studio i am going to create a asp.net web api project let me name it web api auth app with jwt so this is the name of our app so let's create and let's select empty and web api we are not using https and create so this will create a standard project for sp.net web api it have it has a web api config here attribute writing routing has been enabled and some default routing is also enabled apart from that we have global.asx asax here we will capture our authentication re authenticate request event and again we have a controller folder here we will create our controller so do the first thing first we need to install this particular nuget package from the for our project so let's install this one first so manage nuget package browse and search for this this one and install so let's click ok and this nuget packet will install in our application cool so now this was the first step now create the jwt token okay so i'm going to create a helper class let call it uh, like say we can say jwt helper okay and uh, make it static and create we have the second step create jwt token so let's make the method public static string create jwt token cool so here we are going to create jwt token so let's return this is the signature for our method which will generate a jwt token so to generate the jwt token we need some kind of user context okay so let's suppose we will create like for this particular example we will log in a particular user with username and password and we will set the username in the token so let's create a, a model class which will represent the login request so let me make this login request and it will have public string username okay get set cool similarly password and uh, like optionally we can set the role also let me set the role also so we got these three properties in this particular object so to creating the token we will need 
this object let me call it as request and for uh, creation of JWT token we will need some classes and methods from the nougat package that we have installed so let's import the namespaces system dot identity model dot tokens dot jwt the main class is the handler class new jwt security token handler this is the main class which is responsible for creation of tokens so after that we will generate our token with the method create token and it is taking an param a parameter of type security token descriptor cool I'll just put it here okay so finally this parameter will be passed here and on this particular object we will set the all record information that we need in our token and in the last step we will write the token so this will generate the actual token string for us cool so this is the simplest form of creating the jwt token so let's uh, add some parameter we need to add subject subject is basically a uh, identity the claim identity so let me make it id new claim identity okay i need a import here for claim also system dot security dot claims claim identity yeah so we will set the subject the details that all the detail will be available in this particular claims identity for that particular user and we can set the sign in detail sign in credentials so this is the sign in credential this will take a security key so we will generate a key from our uh, like a string so let me declare public static read only string let me call as key sign in key and this will be something like that okay so we will need to pass the key so i am using symmetric key uh, symmetric security key it is taking the bytes of that particular key so let's convert it to byte array and let's import using system dot text so encoding dot utf dot get bytes so here we will pass the actual key and we will get the sign in key as byte array and we can pass it to the symmetric security key constructor and we need to specify the, specify the algorithm so there is lots of algorithm we can use this dot hmac 256 i think this one is perfect okay so let me do it this so we have we are all set nothing else is required here so we just have to supply the details to that particular claims identity so for that we will create a list of claims new list of claim and finally list of claims and we will add individual claims to this so here we can add new claim and here we have claim types dot name we can add the request dot name username okay so yes so this is how we can add the name we can use a name identifier this is also username and we can add the role so finally we can add the role and it can be the role from the request only cool and finally we will add this particular claims to this identity and this identity will add it to our token 
so this is how we will generate our token so this method will create the token so let's create a controller here to generate the tokens so i have no controller by default i will create a by controller i will going to name it app okay and i will add a simple method here public i HTTP X and result login and this will return a token if it is valid or this will be a HTTP get method and I am going to make a route for it so let's make the route login and we'll take the okay login request from our using web dot models login request yeah this is the request and it should be like http post nice so by default it will return success is equal to false and message is equal to invalid creds and find finally if it is invalid then jwt is going to be null so this is the request we are okay let ignore it for the response like if it is there is no not a valid credential and there will be no JWT and then there will be uh, another method public i action result i http action result and let me call it home and it will return home if it is got executed successfully so do the same things make it home and it is going to be http get okay nice so uh, let's te test this um, controller first so i am trying to do this okay okay yeah so let's run let me copy this particular url and make a post request here on login invalid cards nice and let me make another request and make a post request get request on home okay yeah nice so this is set up let me do another thing like i want to protect all these methods and i want only authorized user can access it so if i apply the authorized attribute this all method will not be accessible from the user who is not logged into the system so let me run the home again it's giving me the 401 unauthorized for the login again it's giving me the unauthorized yeah but we still need the login so that we can like pass the credential and get the tokens so i'm going to mark it as allow anonymous and here i will write the logics so to get the token we will call where token is equal to jwt helper dot create jwt token from this particular request object okay so let's try this again nice i am trying to access the home i am still getting unauthorized but if i trying to access the login okay we got an error because we have not passed the details to the request object so let's do that i'm going to add a body raw body json body and uh, let add username let's see going to be admin oh, and uh, let's add the password it 
is again admin and the role is again admin okay let me do a little change here in our controller so that it is a valid if request dot username is equals to admin and request dot password is equals to admin then only we are considering it as a successful request else it is not a successful request okay and if it is a successful request then we will returning the token so for that we will return the jwt token and we will success is for true and we got the token yeah this is what we have and one more thing here we have to specify the sign in key for hmac s 256 we will need a prox like 128 bit sign in key so let me generate a token security key generator so here is website all keys generator.com from here i will going to generate out on 128 bit key okay yeah so let's copy this and put it here nice yeah now in our controller if we are supplying admin as username password we will get a valid token else we will uh, receive a message like invalid credentials okay so let's try it first okay we got this okay so on home we are getting same uh, on this we are getting nice we got the jw token let let's uh, do this and we are getting invalid credential right nice so let's do the username a password role and we are getting the token so finally we are able to generate the token so we done the steps two on the step three and we also done the step four so we have applied the authorized attribute on the controller next the only step we have uh, like remaining is we have to validate the token which is going to be passed as the authorization header in our request so let's do that so we have talked like we will validate a token in authenticate request handler so let me create a helper method to validate the token and another helper method that will be used to get the token from the request and validate that particular token from the validate method and will set the http current user with that particular mm, pass token and generated claim or the principal okay so in the our jwt helper we are going to create another method which will be called as like validate jwt token and the input or the parameter will be a token and the return type will be like using system dot security so here i will get i principal okay i principal okay from where it will come security dot principles okay cool we don't need all these but still we need the security handler and we will going to use this to validate the token validate token and we will take the token as the first parameter and some parameters to validate the token and again after successful validation it will generate a security token nice and once this token is successfully validated we will get this security token and convert it as a jwt security token and from that we will create an id in the new claim identity yeah and uh, jwt dot claims all the claims that is available in our 
uh, token and we will nom this as JWT authentication okay and for name accessing the name we will use the name attribute of the token and for the role we will use the role attribute of the token nice and from this particular ID we will return new claim principle yeah so so this is how we will validate our token and generate the principle so before that we will need to specify what we are going to validate and with what like sign keys so first we will need to specify validate the algorithm we will say true uh, like what are the valid algorithm we are going to supply only one that we are using here okay then we will check like validate audience we are going to say false validate is were going to false and we are going to like use is were sign and key okay this is going to be the sign and key that we are using here the same key and validate sign in is call it true and again validate lifetime is equals to true yeah and uh, that's all that we need to set up here and one more thing like we can add expire e of that particular token add this so after this much time this token will get expired okay so all this is done so this is the method to validate our token and i am going to add another method public static void authentic authenticate request and here we will just get the token from the http context dot current dot request dot headers dot get so we will get the token from authorization header and we will get this token validated by this particular method and if this is valid we will set the http context dot current dot user with this particular principle and we can also set the threads claims also using system dot threading we can set the thread dot current thread dot principle or what we say okay current thread dot um, user or principal current principal threading a thread dot current principal okay we have the current principal here only so we can search the principal for this particular thread also also we are going to use try catch and if there is an error we will just solve it cool so all things are set up so we had a step like validate this and we have to do this validation in authenticate request we already called that particular create jw token we just need to call this one so for that we are going to add this okay authenticate request so what is the signature i can check from here authenticate request yeah this is the method name so we will add this here and we will call the jwt models dot authenticate request cool so this is all set we don't need anything else so let's try it 
so run it okay nice on home we are getting error right on successful creation we are getting the tokens we got the token let's apply this token like without token it's generating unauthorized let's provide the token here in authorization header and let me try yeah i got the successful response there is one catch here like for this particular token we have set the role as the admin role that we have passed from here so let's create a action method which is going to be accessible from from super admin only so let call is admin and make is admin and apply the thrice attribute here bit applicable roles so i am going to here reply yeah super admin super admin cool so now let's run here so we have a token for the user admin which has the role admin so here we are accessing home url which is only accessible to authenticated user it does not need any kind of special role and here again we have an another url admin which need super admin role so still we are going to able access going uh, we are able to access that home uh, handler like the endpoint but we are not able to uh, access the admin because it needs uh, another user like another a, role, a user which has the role super admin so that that can be accessed so the 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 user which have the uh, like role super admin is only accessible can only access this particular admin endpoint so to do that let create another token with role super admin and let's try to pass that particular like header like authorization header to this one yeah so initially we are not passing any token okay so let's pass the older token here first we are still getting unauthorized unauthorized but with the new token which has the role super admin okay I paste it and try this okay i think we got a different token okay let me copy it once copy it and for the admin i'm going to set this one only okay yeah so now i am able to access this particular url and this is the opening url for all authenticated user without any role or any specific role we can access this only so this is only this is how we can access our like uh, jwd token uh, token based, based authentication in our sp.mail web application so as simple that i have mentioned here we just need four steps to follow we will install the system identity model tokens.jwd nougat package then we create the token so for token creation it's a very simple step we add all the required information that is going to be in token as a claims and then we will generate a claims identity with all those claims and after that we will create the an create an object or jwt security token handler and call the create token method with those you know, like details as the subject and we can add further attributes to that particular token like expiries sign in credential all those things then like then we can like apply the authorized attribute on our controllers that we have already done here we have applied the thrice so that this can be only accessed by the authenticated user and for login we have allowed it for anyone who can like pass the valid credential and like for home we need to be a authenticated user it is not uh, required to be any specific role but for this particular action we need an authenticated user with a specific role that is super admin so like similarly like whenever we are generating our token we can put the role in token so once a token is validated the role can all 
automatically will set to that particular user and so like for the third and final step we need to handle authenticate request handler in our global.asx file and here like we have done the handle the, this particular handler and here we call the our re authenticate request for like what happening here we are getting the token from authorization header we are validating with this particular method by all the parameter that we are required and then we will getting the principal and we are setting it for the current re request user and for the current thread so that's all like it is as simple we do not need any kind of fancy operation here we just need to need add a helper class which will have two three methods like create a token validate a token and a helper to like set the validated token the the principle that is we are generating from a valid valid token to the current uh, http request user that's all nothing else is here we just use a simple nuget package this one only so thank you for the watching feel free to comment whatever uh, like you have any problem or you are facing any uh, issue in implementing jwt token and this this the complete code will be available on the github you can access that from this from my github repo i will share the github repo link in the description thank you